It is four o'clock. So we will call the July 13th Architecture Review Board to order. And Steve, if you could please start us with uh, a roll call. Yeah, Joe Clark is Present. here. Alderman Savaglio. Present. Jerry Jones. Present. Richard Lindy. Richard Lindy. Pam Langen. Present. Robert Heimroll. Present. Charlie Wig. Charlie Wig. All right, looks like we have everyone except Rich, Richard, and Charlie. So we have a quorum and we will proceed. Uh, if everyone would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under item 1.3, uh, identifying potential conflicts of interest, uh, I had wanted to note that uh, my company, GDG, does work with Rogers Behavioral Health, but uh, not affiliated with the Sheboygan Project, and I'm not actually affiliated with any of those. So do not see that as a conflict of interest unless uh, you got any feedback from the city attorney otherwise. No, no, that's fine. Perfect. Uh, any other potential conflicts of interest? Hearing none, let's move on to the approval of the minutes from June 8th. Move to approve. Uh, was that? Uh, second, Jerry Jones. Jerry was seconding. Who uh, who motioned? Sorry, that's Marcus Savalio. Thanks, Marcus. So Marcus made the motion. Jerry seconded it. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, uh, do we need a roll call vote for this one? Sure. Joe Clark? Aye. Marcus Savalgo? Aye. Jerry Jones? Aye. Pam Langen? Aye. And Robert Heimroll? Aye. These roll call votes are going to double the meeting time. Yeah, right. Um, right. Thank you, everyone. That takes us to item 3.1. Uh, our first applicant, the building addition to Torganol at 4617 South Taylor Drive. Uh, if that applicant could come to the podium. And if you could introduce yourselves for the folks watching at home <laughs> and give us a, a brief summary of what you're proposing, please. Oh, hang on, your mic isn't on yet. Looks as if you're on. If you wouldn't mind reintroducing yourselves. No problem. Uh, Chris Herzog with ACE Building Service Sorry. in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Hello. Hi, Tom Testwee Jr., president owner and owner of Torganol. Okay, so a brief in introduction of the project. Um, we're looking at an office expansion um, that will be constructed to the west of the existing office at the main facility. Um, as you can see in some of the, the renderings and elevations in the packet, um, particularly that elevation that is pulled up right now, the area that is colored is the proposed expansion. The area that is uncolored is the existing office. Um, the construction type will be consistent with the rest of the re existing uh, structure, which is pre-engineered steel. Uh, the office expansion will have some architectural metal panels of uh, contrast in color and profile, as well as a small overhang area over the front entrance, some aluminum storefront glass, uh, a deck 
built on the west side of the office expansion as an amenity for their employees. And um, in addition to that, Torganol is going to repaint the uh, remainder of the existing facility in a, a color complementary to the color palette that we're proposing for the expansion. All right, thank you. And I see you have some samples with you. I do. Um, you're going to hold those up. I think the camera will pick those up. But they're pretty nondescript and match the gray zone. So, on the where rendering. would you like me to set them in front uh -huh. of the podium, or I don't know? I think you're good, Chris. Okay. Well, this panel is consistent with any other type of metal panel that you probably have ever seen before. Um, this is the vertical panel that will go on the bulk of the expansion, and then our accent panel is what is going to be placed by the front entrance. So this was um, for a couple of different purposes to, I guess, to add a little splash of color, a little visual interest to the building, as well as say, here, this is the entrance. All guests, please, you know, enter through this door. Um, there are several doors around the facility, so it was important for us to really focus on this is the front entrance. Um, so we have here a, this is not necessarily the exact brick that we're going to put on the face of the building. We're still waiting a few samples. Our intention is to match as best as possible the existing brick that is on the original office building. That brick, the same line is not made anymore. So we're, we have requests out to multiple yards to do the very best we can to, to match that brick. Um, it should be noted that even if it's not uh, an exact match, because we have that architectural metal accent splitting the new versus the existing, um, your eye should not pick up on if there's a subtle difference. And then uh, we just have some color, some metal color cards indicating the exact color of the proposed wall panel, which is the darker gray. Correct, Steve? Yep. And then the darker brown will actually be the building accent colors, the gable trim uh, that uh, around the, the top edge of the roof area. And this color is an exact match to the existing trim that's there. The existing office wall panel will be painted to match this dark color. So it will all be uniform all the way across. And then this lighter gray sample that we have shown up is the color that the remainder of the plant will be painted. So they're all complementary colors. Um, they blend well, and uh, we hope you like it when it's done. Yeah, the, the original building was built sometime in the mid-90s by Illumarol. It was, I think, about 105,000 square feet. Then we put 25,000 addition on it about 2014 to the east, another 25,000 addition to the west. So none of the siding matches up. So it's gonna be kind of nice just to, you know, get this project done and then paint the whole building. It, yeah. it should match pretty nice. nice. No, we appreciate the improvements. Thank you very much. It seems to be a pretty straightforward complimentary addition. Uh, I wasn't seeing anything I had any concerns with. Uh, any other discussion items from uh, other board members? Hearing none, uh, I would. This is Jerry. I'd make a motion to approve as presented, subject to staff second. recommendations. This is Pam, second. Excellent. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll do a roll call. So all those uh, approving signify by saying aye. Go ahead, Steve. Marcus Cavallio, aye. Sorry, we're doing a roll call, Marcus. We're just waiting for Steve. I, I was a little <laughs> slow to the a little slow to the chase there. Uh, we'll go with Marcus. Aye. Jerry. Aye. Pam. Aye. Robert. Aye. And Joe. Aye. Motion is approved. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you guys tomorrow. Okay. Which brings us to item 3.2, the construction of the new Rogers Behavioral Health Facility. 
at 1108 South Wildwood. Uh, if your team would like to come to the podium, please, and give us a brief presentation on your proposal. Good afternoon, Steve Pesky, Distinctive Design Studio. Um, and we have Jack Collier here from Rogers Behavioral Health. Uh, we've been working uh, with Rogers uh, for the past couple of months and also with the, the city's uh, assistance and Steve Sokolowski on developing this uh, unused lot and quite of an eyesore uh, <laughs> lot to uh, bring something to uh, rejuvenize uh, this area a little bit further. Uh, what we're proposing here today is actually two separate buildings uh, for the Rogers facility. One would be the outpatient facility. It's uh, approximately a, a 10,000 square foot uh, wood frame structure uh, incorporating um, an adult wing to it in an, in an adolescent uh, wing as well uh, for treating of both um, both demographics to that area. Exterior wise, uh, it does incorporate um, a base of stone that wraps around the entirety of the building. Uh, a main entrance facade with exposed timbers and stone columns to uh, give it some massing. Uh, awning features uh, of metal roof and also accents of wood in the gable uh, ends of the building. Overall, uh, when we first started with Rogers, uh, the overall concept and goal uh, behind this facility was creating a, an up north retreat feel. Uh, they do have multiple locations all across the United States uh, and uh, mainly based out of Oconomowoc, but in a lot of larger cities as well. Uh, so a lot of the incorporation of materials is our smart side, which will have a wood graining uh, aesthetic to it. The uh, Beekle stone with the heritage blend that has more of a um, non-struck joint and uh, gives it a little bit more of a rustic feel to that element and also incorporating in uh, a weathered shingle siding uh, in the gable ends and entities of each building. As uh, stated earlier with the, the second building, the second building being the uh, supportive living uh, similar to a CBRF that this will uh, again entail a lot of similar features with uh, our, our um, wood architectural elements in the gable ends and entities. Uh, also a stone banding that does wrap around the entirety uh, of the building and uh, with both facilities as well, some uh, stone masonry on chimney features uh, where there are incorporated fireplaces. Again, recapping on both materials, uh, keeping within uh, the smart side wood grain siding elements, uh, smart side softened fascia, and uh, weathered shingle um, gable decorative features. Windows will be metal clad, um, a painted metal clad window to accent and to match our, our uh, fascia and our soffit elements. All right. I what that, you said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks. I, so I, I would like to commend you on a couple of very inviting looking buildings. Um, commend your civil engineer for making good use of that site and actually getting it put to use, which is great to see. Um, and then just also some very nice presentation drawings made it very easy to uh, understand what you're proposing uh, and, and appreciate what's going to be there. Um, I didn't have any other questions. Uh, other board members, questions or concerns for discussion? Hearing none, would someone want to make a motion? Dog. Dogs approve it. <laughs> Marcus Savaglio, I make a motion to approve as presented. 
Jerry Jones, second. Thanks, guys. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll do the roll call vote. Uh, signify approval by saying aye. Marcus? Aye. Jerry? Aye. Pam? Aye. Robert? Aye. And Joel? Aye. That was unanimous, so it is approved. Nice. Okay. Thank, thank you, you very much. Look Again, this is Jack Collier with Rogers. I want to thank the city of Sheboygan. It's been one of the most pleasant experiences I've had. Like Steve said, we work around the country, and uh, we certainly have been welcomed with open arms, and we, we're so excited about getting our programs here and trying to be part of the community. So thanks planning, I thank engineering, uh, and uh, the Planning Commission and the Board uh, Directors. It's just been awesome. So thank you very much. Great. Thank you. Appreciate it. And then and then we'll have um, just a uh, real uh, at plan commission tomorrow just to, to do the little amendments from the original site plan. Right. So if you guys want to maybe call in tomorrow, probably that's yeah. you certainly can do that. Perfect. Thank okay. you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. And with that, uh, the business of our meeting is concluded. Next meeting is scheduled for July 27th. Uh, do we have items for that one? Yeah, Please I believe so. Excellent. So mark your calendars for that. Um, and I believe we can skip a roll call vote for adjournment. Uh, but if someone would so move. Motion to adjourn. Marcus Savaglio. We have a second. Second, ma'am. And we'll do it all in unison. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Sounds as if we're adjourned. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate your time. Aye.